a jacket sleeve. If you've not actually watched the video on how to achieve your puff sleeve, I think you have to please do that. Okay, right now I want to achieve your jacket sleeve. If you've not actually watched the video on how to achieve your puff sleeve, I please advise you to do that. It's pretty easy. So you can see the difference between this sleeve and this sleeve. This is your jacket sleeve. Just like it's a jacket sleeve, there's no puff there. So the way you cut it is actually different from the way you cut this. So this is an example of a jacket sleeve, no puff, and this is a puff sleeve. There's a video on this. Please do watch that. Then achieving a uh, puff sleeve is very easy. Remember, these are jacket sleeve. Your jacket sleeve, achieving your jacket sleeve, it's just this way. You can see the shape. There is no allowance, such allowance for puff as we have in, in the puff sleeve. These are all the allowance for your pleats. In the puff sleeve, you can see the difference between this puff sleeve and this jacket sleeve is that the slope of this S for puff sleeve, it's really down. And why is it so? It's because of the allowance for your pleats that will make up the puff. The allowance for your pleats that will make up the puff. But here, you're not making any puff. So it's just as easy as this. So what are we, what are we using? We're just using a round ham old steel. Having achieved it this way, you just use your, you get your work, your sleeve length, let me see you same 15. You get your sleeve length this way. If you want a baby sleeve, six, uh, whatever inch you want, it all depends on the person you're making the dress for or, you, or yourself, whatever length you want your sleeve to be. So just achieve it this way. This is just a jacket sleeve. It's not a circle sleeve, it's not a pore sleeve, it's a jacket sleeve. So you just achieve it this way. Let me use, let me use just 12 inches. These 12 inches have included sewing allowance of one inch. That means it's actually 11 inches. So this is it. You roll it out. Your round ham hole is 18. So you just place it this way, just place it this way. At least you've gotten this nine. Remember, for you to use your round ham hole, you're going to divide it by two, this and half of it. So 18, it's just this way. So you know that the extent of your fold will be this way. Then our round sleeve, let's check this round sleeve. This is your round sleeve. This is five and a half. That means it's 11 round, but half of it is five and a half inches. So you get it this way, five and a half. You could just add half inch sewing allowance. So you roll it out this way. It's pretty easy achieving your sleeve. So you connect the points. And this is your jacket sleeve. That means it doesn't have any allowance for pop or pleats as your pop sleeve. So you could just place them sideways and see the difference. This allowance, it's for the pop. There's no pop here. It's just straight this way. Just straight this way. But this, you have the pop. So that's just the difference between your pop sleeve and your jacket sleeve. So you could just cut it out and cut out on your fabric. Just place your fabric this way. Remember, if you don't want to achieve it on your brown paper, you can just achieve it right away on your mesh or your fabric this way. You just place out, you achieve your your, your slants, the, the shape of your hair, you achieve your handhold points, your, your sleeve length, then your round sleeve. It's pretty easy.
so. Just place it out this, just cut it out this way. Jacket sleeve, you can see just one major difference between the jacket sleeve and the puff sleeve. Just place them side by side and discover that difference you saw. The jacket sleeve adds an allowance of pleats. The puff sleeve, I mean, the puff sleeve as an allowance for pleats that will make up the pearl but the jacket sleeve doesn't really have so having it this way you just place in into your armhole and you arrive at what you want to arrive at so in the next video watch out for how you are going to cut your armhole the insertion points on your dress how you want to cut your armhole that you are going to insert this round armhole into it's pretty easy at A and B and C so to have a lot of time.